<laughs> if it's up, guys, it is fire here. Yeah, uh, uh, what a weird intro, but hey, uh, this right here is my mortal step FLP, what I have so far. I haven't done anything since the little I am remixing video, but I'm gonna kind of teach or like kind of go over what I have so far. And right here, I have like kind of a boom pattern right here I have a, a little hard style kick cut so it doesn't have the little reverse because it usually all like boom. and I routed it to right here and then I put an EQ on it without the EQ it would sound like I also have a boom crash. The low's taken out. And both of them are rounded to ascend. And what else? I have, oh yeah, I tried making a melody, but that didn't work out too good. Like, that I haven't even used it once I'm trying to figure out a way I can like morph it through and out of the beat I kind of it used to be just like these marked up but then like I accidentally clicked right click and then split by channels and combined them back again so yeah there we go <laughs> What is this? Nothing, alright. And the little intro. Here you go. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna turn up my Dr. Dre beat and I'm gonna tune you guys out by listening to this like a What it is, if massive would open, let me explain to you guys what it was. Um, I said it's starting to be like a big poop stain. And, ah, there we go. It is kind of like an envelope with the extremely long attack. The format, scrapyard, and this. What ton of effects? So, yeah. Uh, raw. Oh, it's just for the boom. Where it goes like. Hey, yeah. It also has an extended delay, and that's what this automation clip is for. So it decreases the delay because I have during the beat, it goes one, raw, three, raw, one, raw, three, raw. And like it just starts stacking up against each other and it becomes really, really out of hand. So, as a raw, as a mortal, Any I'm gonna right. turn up my Dr. Dre beats and I'm gonna tune you guys out by listening to Skrillex. So, how do you like that? This is taking off from his uh, Ghost Recon with Spoon and I can't remember those. The guy, I feel bad, but uh. And then I have the mortal wobbles. <laughs> and then I have a sub bass. Uh, kicks, which is just a pickup noise. You can't hear that because it's filtered. And pick up for a mortal. This is the part, Dude, this where, he is the part the where he drops the bass. Hey! Dude, this is the point. Yep. Yeah. And then drop. <laughs> then I have... 
modified of that drop, and then a breakdown drop. <laughs> That makes me laugh, I don't know. Then I have this little... Saw. Nothing impressive, just harmless. It's not even a saw to me. But then it goes like... play what I have so far if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna turn up my Dr. Dre beat and I'm gonna tune you guys out by listening to this beat like this. So how do you like that shit? Probably not. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, listen to this. Any so far and then I'll just teach you how to make the gonna go over how to make the wobbles all right that is the <laughs> sub bass not that big of a deal sine wave This is the one that I just totally guessed on how to make. Uh, I used to use Scrapyard a lot, so I was all like, I'm gonna give it back a try. And then I put on a double notch filter, so it <laughs> kinda gave it a little thing. I don't have access to all the low notes because I don't have my keyboard with me. I'm using my built in keyboard. <laughs> And then, it's minus 12 octave on this, but then just a chrome wave. I was thinking about adding a, a, a AI, but I was all like, Ugh. and then I tried adding a formant, and it didn't sound that good. It doesn't sound that attractive. Oh. And what is this? Oh, this is my Avarian wobble. <laughs> but like, hold on, is it only it only sounds good right here. I the wobble I made in the Seamus step, which has a duck organ added on the first one instead of the regular chrome, and then AI. So it's just a frequency shifter, feedback, tube, dimension expander. What if I lower the feedback? Is that the duck organ? Sounds totally different. No, I like it there. And talk. Oh. If you watch my simple wobble tutorial, it's exactly like that, except you add a lot of resonance. Without the resonance, with a lot of resonance, 
Like it totally adds a completely new uh, sound to it. envelope if you lower down the decay it also adds a total new sound to it decay all the way up decay a little bit lower On. there we go has that like a little unsync telephone to it but yeah i'm recording right yeah i am recording right but that's what i so i can teach you some oh yeah This is a Chrome and AI through double notch and through a sign shaper uh, with the two and dimension expander. Oh, uh, I might do separate tutorials on how to go in depth with these, but if you've been using Massive for a while, pretty sure you can figure it out. Oh, this is all on 1.3 Massive. <laughs> all right, and what is this? A pluck? Yeah. What I did was I took this base. And just routed it through a screen filter and made the envelope plucky. And then instead of holding it down all the way, you only play it for like a split second. So and then add sub bass under it, and then it gets all crazy. Like yeah. And once you get all of these, just side chain it. Yeah. I have this side chain. Oh, uh, look at look at that go down. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. All right. But uh, yeah, I think that will conclude tutorial one. Next tutorial, I'll build off of this breakdown beat. <laughs>